Let's make your Google Sites website more functional by adding all important booking forms for capturing new messages and leads. To do this, I'm going to share three methods that you can implement for adding different types of booking forms to Google Sites. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into Google Sites, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into three methods for adding booking forms to Google Sites. <music> Okay, so how can you add a booking form or contact form onto your Google Sites website? Now, I'm gonna cover a few methods for doing this. So the first thing that you wanna do is head over to your Google Sites website. As you can see, I'm already on a test website that I created earlier. So to arrive at Google Sites, simply head over to your browser and type in sites.google.com and that's gonna take you to this interface. Now, if you're completely new to Google Sites and you're yet to create a website using Google Sites, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you get started with Google Sites. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is navigate down my homepage for my Google site and locate this booking form here. So the first method for adding a booking form to your Google Sites website is by embedding a Google form. Now, as you can see, this is a Google form that I've turned into a booking form. Book free consultation, we have a description here, and then we just have a few fields. We've got a name field, email address, phone number and comments down here. Now you can customize this booking form the way that you like, depending on the type of information that you wanna capture from your website visitors. So again, this could be a booking form or it could be a contact form. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and click on this form and I'm actually going to delete it so I can show you how to add this form. Then simply navigate over to insert next to pages, then navigate down here and locate form. So as you can see, we have forms over on the right hand side. I'm going to click here and we wanna locate the Google form that we want to embed into our website. So I'm gonna simply navigate up to this form here, click on the form and then come down and click on insert. Then what we want to do is make sure that the form is responsive on our website page. To do that, you can drag the sides of your form. If you want it to display on that entire section, simply drag the bottom to display all that information. And as you can see, that is our Google form. Then what we want to do is navigate up to preview, and that's going to allow us to preview what our form looks like on our website. So I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is navigate back to the editor, Okay, so to actually create a Google form, what you wanna do is head over to your Google Forms. And once you arrive at Google Forms, you wanna make sure that you're using the same Google account for your Google Sites as well as for your Google Forms. Then simply navigate through the process of creating your Google Form. And you can choose the type of information that you wanna capture from your visitors or the information that you wanna display on your Google Form. Now, this is not a Google Form tutorial, so if you want to learn how to actually create a Google Form and then embed that form onto your website, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through the exact process of creating a Google Form for your website. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is head back to our Google site. Okay, so that is the first method for embedding a form onto your Google site, and that is by using Google Forms, which is a free form builder. Now, what I'm going to do is navigate over to this Google Form and delete it, and this time I'm going to add a booking form using Calendly. So I'm going to head over to my Calendly account. Okay, so here I am inside Calendly. Now, think about Calendly as a free appointment scheduling software that allows you to create booking forms or appointment scheduling forms and then use these to capture bookings. The great thing about Calendly is your booking forms seamlessly integrate into your calendar, meaning you won't have double bookings. And the booking forms interface is more user friendly, which makes it ideal for your visitors to make bookings through your website. You can also customize your forms exactly how you like in terms of the type of information that you want to show, as well as meeting details and more. 
So Google Forms is great for a basic contact form. However, if you want to create a more advanced booking form for your Google site, then I recommend using Calendly. Now, again, Calendly is free to use. However, if you want your website visitors to make a payment when they book your form, this could be, for example, a 45 minute ongoing consultation session. This is a paid strategy session. And when a potential customer makes this booking, they will have to make a payment in order to book this session. Now, if you want some guidance on how to create a Calendly booking form, then what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will show you how to create a Calendly booking form from start to finish. So go ahead and check that out if you're completely new to Calendly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this booking form. This is a form that I created earlier. And what I wanna do is navigate down to share. Then I want to add this form onto a website and I'm going to go ahead and click inline embed, add a scheduling page to your site. If I click here and come down and click continue, I can go ahead and customize this form slightly. So the background color, I can change that from white. I can change the text color as well as the button and link color down here. But I'm happy with these colors. These are my website branded colors. Then simply navigate over to copy code. And once you copy the code, simply head back to your Google Sites. Then back inside Google Sites, what you want to do is click on the page that you want to embed your booking form on. Then simply navigate up to Insert and then click on Embed. What we're going to do is navigate over to Embed Code and then paste in the code here. Then go ahead and click on Next. Then Google Sites is going to generate a preview of what your booking form will look like. Then go ahead and click on Insert. Again, similar to Google Forms, what we want to do is make sure that we're happy with the placement and the size of our form. I'm going to navigate down and drag the bottom so that it displays more information. And as you can see, the form is slightly cut off. So what we want to do is check that it shows on the preview. I'm going to come down and as you can see, there we have my form and it displays nicely. And a potential website visitor can book a session with me. They can go ahead and click on Friday the 9th, then they can select a time and then click next and then add their name, email and details down here and the location in terms of how they want to engage in this session. Then all they would do is come down and click on schedule event and all that information is going to display in Calendly and I will also get an email reminder as well as the person booking this meeting. And again, like I mentioned, you can customize dates and times that you are available. Okay, so what we're going to do is exit out of this. Okay, so that is the second method, and that is using Calendly. Now, what you can also do is add a button that takes people to a form. So, for example, what we're going to do is quickly create a button. To do that, I'm going to navigate down the right-hand side and click on Button, and then type in Book Session Now. And then I want to add a link. So what I'm going to do is head back to Calendly. And this time what I'm going to do is exit out of this. And then simply come down and click on copy link for the form. And that's just going to copy the link of this form. And then I can add that to my button. So I'm going to head back to Google Sites. And then I'm going to come down and paste in the link here. And then click on insert. And as you can see, I have the button over here. I'm going to drag that out. I can also drag the placement of that button. So again, I could put this button further up the page if I like. I'm going to put that here. And now if a customer clicks here, that's going to take them to our booking form or they can fill out the information here. So let's go ahead and preview this button. I'm going to navigate up to preview and then navigate down the page and let's test out this booking session form. And as you can see, that's going to take that website visitor to this independent standalone booking form. So ideally, what you want to do is embed your form onto your website page, as well as have a button that redirects people to this form. And that way you have two different options for booking appointments with you. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of this and head back to Google Sites. Now you can also play around with each of the elements. So for example, this button, I can customize further if I like by simply clicking on the button and then changing the different options up here to customize that button. And again, I can drag this form and I can place it somewhere else on my website page if I like. However, those are three simple methods for adding forms onto your Google site. Make sure you check out the tutorials I mentioned in this video if you want more information on how to use Google Forms as well as how to use Calendly. 
And remember, we also have a complete Google Sites tutorial, which will be linked down below in the description. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Google Sites tutorial. Now if you have any questions about adding booking forms to Google Sites, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this video or to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.